right, so the two-time himself ignited Twitter yesterday, and I'm sure you probably saw this yourself, right? Did you see the tweet? Yeah, I saw the tweet. So I'm not going to read it for you guys, but Doc basically tweeted yesterday out of the blue um, without mentioning Dead Drop by name because he's making a game. Well, his studio is making a game that has blockchain options. and I'll get into that later. Um, basically, he said, imagine extracting with items from a game like, you know, Extraction Shooter Escape from Tarkov worth $100,000 on the blockchain. Imagine how intense that's going to be as a player and as a viewer. Uh, that ignited a lot of people talking. And then, of course, Doc pulled a doc and called everybody else being critical of, of, of this future thing. He literally said that they're all brain dead. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people jumped into the discussion on, on both sides, either defending based Dr. Disrespect or just, just jumping on and saying any game with NFTs, any game with crypto is dead and, you know, like your game's a scam and everything in between. I know what Doc is saying. Yeah. Like, people who are, one, invested in the game for the game itself, not because it's a blockchain process. Yes. Know what he's talking about. And Doc left to his own devices literally just says the most outlandish thing that does not help sell his proposition here. And I hate it so freaking much. <laughs> well, to counter that, I'll let you continue. But I, what I said to somebody else who was being critical of this is, I, I think he's one of those guys that believes all press is good press. And late, in late later mar modern marketing cycles, that's proven to be pretty true uh, yeah. lately. Oh, that's very true. I mean, that's how, like, most people who were technically canceled have gotten popular. Obviously. More popular than they were before. Yeah. Remember that kid who, uh... Bill Clinton? Was on, uh, was at the Game Awards, right? Bill Clinton. <laughs> Bill Clinton? Yeah. He's, like... He, he has, like, his own podcast and everything yes. now, man. You're right. And he's, like, 15 or 16 yeah. or something. Like that. And I'm not saying money. that he deserves it or anything like that. I know nothing about the kid. I'm just saying it's an example of what exactly what you're saying. Um, and I hate that that's the case, that that by being as provoking and provocative and, you know, as possible and that, that that's like the go to strategy these days instead of, you know, building trust, for example. <laughs> but it is what it is. It's the world we live in. <clears throat> I um, um, go ahead. No, I, I just want to say, like, I, I like what Doc's doing. I know what he's selling, what he's like proposing here. And yeah. to your point, you know, I didn't think about it like, you know, maybe it was just intentional to be just a little oh, I think aggro it about it. Doc. Yeah. It's I mean, like doc. it's Doc, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, but like at the same time, it's just I don't want this to continuously be a bad representation mm -hmm. of of the product coming yeah. forward. Because a lot of people were like, oh, wow, I didn't really like they pretending like they didn't know that the game was literally being sold on blockchain. Yeah. Um. Not sold, but built on it. Um, you know, people were replying to it, and just people were continuously not understanding uh, what what he means by that. And right. people, you know, are never ever capable of doing their own research unless I don't know they Literally they're research. that they're that interested in winning a battle with an online internet stranger. Yeah. So I don't know. I I was a little bit disappointed the way he handled it, but yeah. to your point, maybe it was intentional because I think the game will be successful. Yeah. And, it will be successful utilizing the points that you brought up, um, which is, you know, it it was supposed to be intentionally I'm not biased at all. frustrating, annoying. <laughs> it was intentional to be annoying and frustrating towards other people. So that way, when the product does come out and it does become what Doc is pitching to everybody, now he's left everybody out. Like I think he left the naysayers. Look I think his first tweet was provocative, but totally fine. The brain dead one was obviously pushing his luck a little bit yeah. further. Yeah. No. Um, and, and I think so people are skeptical towards blockchain and NFT for pretty good reasons. Right. There's been a lot of blockchain and NFT scams, a lot of probably 95 percent of the blockchain games we've seen are totally half assed. They're 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 riding on the fact that they are a blockchain game. There's like no gameplay. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. Most of them are trash. You know what um, it is? The era that it is, those games that are early in the stage are like the early iPod touch app store. 
games, <laughs> I don't bro. know this analogy, but it's it's like you it's the year 2006, 2007. You got your first iPod touch. You go to the app store and the only games that you have are like stupid flashlights. Like tic-tac-toe. Uh, tic-tac-toe. Like it's just it's the very early Solitaire. stages of it. Yeah, not even solitaire, man. Dude, there were really bad games on the iPod Touch like when it first came out. It's kind of funny, um, but like you know, it it needs the time and it needs yeah. somebody to to be able to sell it to people because the product is worth it. Well, um, right, yeah. and that's what that's where I'm going. It's like there's a there's so many people who got into this conversation as if this is unique, who know nothing about what's going on. It's that they see blockchain, they see NFT. They hear cryptocurrency and it's and it's oh it's bad it's trash it's it's dead or arrival and the thing is is this game dead drop which again he didn't name he didn't mention by name but it's being made by a very talented team like halo devs call of duty devs gears devs robert bowling is head of the studio um so there's that the game is going to stand up which is going to put it a peg above other blockchain games immediately it's going to be an actual triple a extraction shooter that you're gonna you're gonna want to play period yeah. if, if they deliver on their promise because it's just gonna be a good game and it's free to play and here's something else that a lot of people miss and i've been putting this out to everybody is they've been clear from day one you don't need once the game is out but not right now once the game is out you will not need any to do anything on the blockchain you can play it completely centralized like any other game you don't need to buy an nft you don't need to use cryptocurrency you don't need to do anything you don't need to start a wallet you can play it like anything else so um that's that's one of those things where i feel like it's necessary for a developer of a blockchain game to do to build trust like if you don't like it that's fine just come play the game like and, and the game will stand up on its own and that's why i think that it could be the game that makes blockchain start to click for gamers because they could get into it, play the game, enjoy it. Just like the game for what it is. And then if they choose so, they can start to dive into the, oh, now I can resell the skins that I've had. Like, this is crazy, you know, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. I'm the way that I'm that makes the what makes me most excited to like what Doc was saying in that tweet, too, is just like imagine there's like 10K on the chain right there. He said 100K, which is never going to happen, by the way. <laughs> it is never going to happen. Is I mean, I'm pretty sure it might, to be honest, if that depends on like how big Dead Drop gets. Right. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what Doc wants to do eventually. But I'm pretty sure there will be an item that's probably going to start out with 50K and or not 50K with $50. Right. Like, oh, sure. Hey, there's the $50 skin right there. But right. Now, oh yeah, like, definitely. Whatever people 20... will pay for it. That's the thing. It's like a marketplace. The year is 2030 and Dead Drop is in its like 15th season. I don't know. <laughs> and like we're we're looking at it from the inside as a player and it's just like that's what I think people don't realize that they want so badly. Like every anime they've ever watched that has like a video game centric, you know, which almost almost, almost every anime has this like centrical item. Uh, and that item is just something that is not replicatable uh, anywhere. And that's what makes like games like Sword Art Online not just cool because of like, oh, I deep dive, use my brain with the technology. It was the fact that there was items within the game no one else had. Really like, unique Kirito to me. had skills that no one else could have. Yeah. And that existed literally on a version of the blockchain within the game. Like there, they, there are definitely items like in World of Warcraft that are very Especially minimum. back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. There's some stuff even in WoW right now. If you now, had just... them, it was a status. Like like yes. I'm like like I am like a rock star. Yes. And those things can exist and not just like in how Doc's trying to position it. And like to my point, like imagine like the like playing whatever the next big MMO RPG is that's on the blockchain. And now you have unique skills that will not be able to just exist anywhere else. They're yeah. based off of what you've works towards by just playing the game and you don't even, right. you probably didn't even have to spend any money on that either you could right. have just gotten it see that's something too like there's so many complexities to this discussion and it's important to actually like think things through and talk about them because i saw so many people saying like well i'm never gonna spend i'm never gonna spend money like that on a game like this and it's like you don't understand you don't have to if you go yeah. into the game world and you find this item or you kill somebody who happened to come in with that item or whatever and then you get it like they're all of a sudden the risk reward is like, oh, my God, like I can have this like amazing item and I could potentially sell this thing for 
I'm not going to say a hundred thousand dollars. I mean, let's say it's a, if, if I could get something out and I could sell it for a hundred dollars, I mean, that's freaking amazing. Right. And I'm listening. I'm going to turn my light on real quick. Okay. The other thing that I, uh, that I point out too, is that again, this is like gamers being gamers is like gamers criticize so many things. They criticize loot boxes. They criticize battle passes. They criticize uh, $70 games being too expensive. They criticize, um, DRM, you know, like, well, oh, or I put so much time and money into this game and, and now it's worthless. And what what their blockchain can be if delivered upon well, which, again, I will wholly admit most games right now are not delivering upon the premise. Well, they're actively trying to rip people off, basically. Yeah. Um, but if if that promise is delivered upon, like it gives gamers a new monetization option that can actually benefit them and and it's like at least give it a chance guys like if if the game comes out and it's totally predatory by all means like flame it like hold hold them accountable like like don't play it if you don't like it like i get it but it's like if there's anybody in the blockchain space right now that i see that i'm like willing to trust it's the studio this studio that they've put together because there's a lot of real sincere triple a gaming talent Mm -hmm. in it and i I, I do hope that they deliver upon it because it would be nice. You know what I'm like most concerned of whenever it comes to this game is honestly like hacking because I've, that was a big concern on the Twitter discussion yesterday. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a worthwhile concern right there. Uh, besides just unknowingly like being pissed off at a product that's not even out yet. Um, mm-hmm. But like just the concern of hacking because there's no such thing as like a perfectly sealed safe um and right with gaming cheating we, will never seen, be eliminated ever yeah ever it will never it will never not exist so like that's my only concern right there i know with blockchain there are different steps to validate that key that you have basically mm-hmm. so maybe things are going to be much safer and i'm speaking out of pure ignorance here yeah I don't no really i think, I think it's it the wild west i think you're yeah there's not a lot to be known from it and I think that's where most people should be concerned is, are we ready to be kind of investing in that kind of future just right. yet? But then again, we haven't seen a successful iteration or somebody's got to be the first. Yeah, someone's got to be the first. And literally the person who streams for absolutely free is selling you a free game. When not even like asking you to spend any money on anything is mm-hmm doing that for you so i don't know i'm not saying people need to be grateful for doctor's respect i think i think kind of like capping for that just isn't my brand but for the most part it's free if it's free it's for me literally right don't complain (laughs) it's free it's for me another valid concern that i saw and i don't think midnight society is gonna do this but i i do see as a valid concern is to like the the pay to win type stuff but because Mm -hmm. it's an extraction shooter like that's what somebody was saying like it's gonna become complete bs you know, like if you just spend a lot of money and buy a lot of crypto and buy a lot of items or whatever, you're going to be like super powerful and it's, you know, nobody else is going to stand a chance. I'm like, well, hold on. This isn't like an MMO or something. This is an extraction shooter. And right now, the time to kill is really damn fast. You die like a few shots. So like I don't see them going down a road of, OK, I got all these like super valuable items like value is all in the eye of the beholder. I don't think they're going to tie power levels to to like value of items i think it's gonna be like cosmetic stuff you know i mean how good can a gun be if i get this gun i'm not gonna find a gun that's worth twenty thousand dollars on the blockchain because it one shots everybody right like that would be that would ruin the game but and that's kind of what people were insinuating and it's like well no i think it's gonna be a well-balanced game it's not like an mmo where you can or like diablo immortal right where people were spending thirty five thousand dollars just to be insanely powerful and be able to one shot mobs. You know, it's not, it's not that I type would, of game. I, th- I, as a viewer, to Doc's point, because he cares very, he cares a lot about the entertainment and like intrinsic value, of the entertainment sure. process of it all. And to this point, you know, like imagine being a viewer watching people like play for this very, very expensive item that's on the on the blockchain. That actually would be very interesting for me. And mm. if this is say we got like this big uh big event it's got the best dead drop players in the in the entire industry or in the entire game community uh just that's me all dropping in 
everyone's all dropping in and Mayor's in there and Mayor ends up getting this item. I actually wouldn't be upset as a viewer at least Stay. to say, it's hey, I don't want him to have that. That's OP. I want you to have that because it's OP. I want there to be I... more value than just it being a skin. You yeah. know? I feel like that would be too simple. And I know that's just like a very broad yeah. example of like what it, what is the launching item that they're going to be fighting for. But I would love to actually see this rocket launcher behemoth BFG weapon <laughs> that exists in this game and only one person can have just... it. And the reason why that person gets it and wins it is never going to drop inside of the inside of this again because if he could just drop it while he's just playing a random game, that'd be dumb of him, right? So right. if you want that's that, what I'm man, saying. Like like take and that's what I was telling people. Like they're saying, like I don't want to invest all this money. And I'm like, you don't have to. And if you buy an item that costs fifteen thousand dollars and you take it in with you, and maybe it maybe it is super sweet. You kill like ten people and then you die. Well, by a guy with a pistol. There goes your ten thousand dollars. Like you die by a hacker. You know, people like, are naturally going to regulate themselves. That that's the risk reward of it. You know, and then and then does it become holy f. I got to find a way to get into a lobby with this guy and hunt him down and kill him because I got to get yeah. my item back, you know, or, or like, or, or like, be so cool. or like, like an objective to maybe one day I will be able, there's only 10 of these guns in the game. Maybe one day I will kill somebody and I will get to have it for at least a little while, you know, yeah. and, and, and run it for a little, who knows, you know, like there, there's and, tons of potential. And imagine here. the storytelling elements that does right. over the course of years right it's not like I, the way that i imagine it right now is like you know mayor you picked up this gun uh you won the event you know you got this ten thousand dollar weapon that no one else has and then three years later down the line you know there's another event after many so now there's more pros mm -hmm. there's other people who have unique items that will make them actual predators inside of the lobby and that's why you alone are going to go in there now you have your ten thousand dollar weapon that you won two years ago that you could take into the arena because you know that that weapon in particular is going to be not necessarily worthless to the tournament but it's going to progress you even further towards mm -hmm. your potential dead drop career mm -hmm. like that is a huge huge risk kind of you know gameplay scenario yeah i'd imagine that people who are like as rich as xqc you're gonna be see, dropping into games like that you're gonna see people it, it, not, uh, again from the entertainment perspective you were going to see people literally brought to tears when they're like trying to extract with this like insane skin or armor or gun you know whatever it is and then like at the last second they die or they go in with it and they instantly get sniped in the head. And they never yeah. even got to shoot it. I guarantee you, you will see like videos on YouTube. Somebody, you know, the thumbnail, tears coming out of their eyes <laughs> because they lost literally... some super valuable item. And no, exactly. It's sad. We do that right it's now. Some we guards. That. That's what I'm saying. Like, like we do that with like people did it with Pokemon Diablo cards, Immortal dude. and stuff. Like it, it, it's really a <laughs> blockchain when delivered upon in an honest way it's just an extension of things we already have now and you don't have to like it that's fine i mean it, but people are so freaked out about it and for a lot of good reasons let's say and saying they're not i but think like, it's okay I, I think it's very good to be uh insecure about it and i don't mean to say insecure be cautious, like you're a frail person, but cautious, be cautious. Yeah. don't get, don't just be cautious, but don't just slap everything that has the concept on it with a garbage label, you know? This game cannot catch a break, because whether... like Somebody was, like, arguing with me, uh, Zatch, as usual, saying, like, oh, Doc's game looks like trash. And I'm like, yeah. it is in quite literal vertical slice alpha mode right now. And I yeah. get this to you, right? <laughs> pre, pre, that? pre, 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 alpha. Yeah, and uh, he was... The, the, I forgot what that person said, but, like, give it six months, and I'm like... And it'll still Give be it the same thing. Six state years. State. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, like, I would hope the game that's not every, finished plays like shit. Every game ever made looks like that at this point of the process. It's like wireframes and blockouts, and that's you just you just don't normally see games that way. Yeah, you don't. And like it, that's it's such a beautiful example of how developers are integrated with their community. Like no, not a lot of not a lot of developers do this, where they get this kind of level of intimacy with their with their community to help develop their game yeah, and transparency. Um, yeah, like you don't see that, and when they are, 
the people who aren't even invested in the game who speak the loudest are always going to say like the dumbest yeah. shit possible. And it's super frustrating because now you're giving other developers a reason to say, you know what, let's be quiet. We don't want yeah. to Fear. have people. We don't want our, our investors who have no idea what a computer even looks like running a video game right. uh, before it's even you know, put in as a disc to see these people commenting, oh, this game looks like trash and just back out. Well, you know? and that's why a lot of developers like, Bungie and Respawn come to mind, like who used to be, and I'm not saying that they're not, but we're making conscious efforts to like be available on Twitter and like, you know, like Reddit and stuff and like communicate. They've all had to scale back because they just, they just get harassed and attacked yeah. and people are totally unreasonable. And it's unfortunate because then we lose out on that developer insight because they're just like, well, we can't, we can't risk this, you know? Like, yeah. That sucks. I mean, it's, that's just how we are, like, as, as people, as human beings, you know, it's not gaming's the only gamers. one that's affected. Just gamers, just the chronically ill, chronically online people that, <laughs> that's just where we are. Second you know, time in two weeks game, that's come up. You play an online game, you'll look at the same places where they post forums, and then you have platforms like Twitter that just gives you a platform, so it is, it is what it is, but that doesn't stop me from complaining about it. <laughs> All right, moving on, I 